Hi everyone. Thought it was about time I put another telephone up. I do the series telephones of the world. Um, this one I thought I had put it up somewhere but I can't find it so I thought well I'd add to it. I've had to bring this one into service because the phone that was on here uh, failed. But not to worry I've got quite a few phones so not a problem. Anyhow outwardly or having a quick glance at this you'd think this was a 332 uh, one by BT or GPO at the time uh, Tele 332 what gives it away that it's not that is the dial if you notice there is a gap between the finger stop and the first digit now this tells you it's not a normal standard dial used here in the UK but in fact it was based on the uh, automatic electric dial of America um, these phones were made or the help given to India was from automatic electric of Liverpool uh, ATM and these phones were very much based on the 332 in fact this one is more based on the 332 than the later versions uh, that were used in India with this one if I turn it over oh, the base is similar to the British phone it has a it has a, a base plate which is hasn't got anything on it it's just got your number type numbers and um, often with these um, Indian phones you've got a little vent hole each side well this one as I, as I said before the base is just a metal shield held on by four screws which is similar to the 332 in England later versions all the innards was mounted on this flat plate and was totally different inside but I'm not going to take it apart but suffice to say you've got the same type of innards as a 332 your induction coil your bell or ringer and the dial which is slightly different to the normal British dial everything else is virtually the same the handset has got a subtle difference I don't know where you can see it okay but there's a little shield there with ITI Indian Telephone Industries it's had a bit of wear look at that there on there where that's been put down on the uh, the cradle so it's you can see a little bit of wear so it's it is virtually but it is, it is a genuine one and we've got a visitor coming um, so that was that so hopefully oh yeah I mentioned the front uh, the front drawer is actually a dummy it doesn't it doesn't do anything it's fixed it's a fixed drawer on the front there uh, I did pass a comment about the dial the dial here has just got numbers no letters number only type dial everything else is exactly the same as you'd find on a 332 um, one of these phones now I don't know how much they're worth but they're they're not cheap the English version or the 332 version is e even more expensive but this is uh, all the way around so if you get one of these you, you know you've got some idea that it could be an Indian one because there's no name on the actual casing 
the only indication is on the base and on the handset which is the normal handset as found here on the 332 anyhow as with it, a lot of people do they show a call being made I don't know why but I'll, I won't sort of deviate from that we'll get a ring back take the handset off one seven there are 175 you get your tone put the handset back and hopefully it'll ring there she goes nice strong ring the rings you hear in the background are the other phone so um, there we all are oh, that's working well I'll take it off so once again thanks for looking um, any comments good or bad please leave please subscribe and once again sorry for not putting a telephone uh, video up for such a long time I hope to remedy this I have with this one and will probably add uh, more and plants interesting bits of equipment whatever's going anyhow once again thank you uh, to you all for watching please subscribe please comment Thanks again.